Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, this is the Mindless Horror Podcast, and I am back with George. George has not been on an episode in like 20, 20 episodes? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. It's been a while, but you guys may notice this ain't our normal set. You guys actually may realize that we're completely in a completely different area. That's because we're on a different set. Yeah. Want to tell what set we're on? Uh... No. 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 <laughs> we are on TLEV Media set. What is up, boys? How's it been? Yeah, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. It's been good. Thomas, we have Thomas on the side. If he has Thomas is there. He's gonna come in. Um, yo, what's up, guys? So, I proposed this idea that we did. We invited them back on the podcast, and I'm glad they're back. It's been since what episode ten? You guys. Oh yeah. That was a near three hour podcast. We're gonna we're we'll limit that today. That won't be three hours. Before. That will, before. Um. So, uh, thank you for having us. Yeah. Thank you for having us at your guys' set. First of all, this is awesome. Um. Very excited to be here. Uh, we're gonna talk about a couple things today, but first, uh, let's give a little shout out to Shutter. Shutter. Gave our viewers a 14-day free trial if they use promo code MINDLESS. That is promo code MINDLESS, and they're giving my viewers a 14-day free trial. And I just heard recently that Kurt Hammett is going to be doing some stuff with Shudder. Guitar player from Metallica. So, Shudder, sign up using promo code MINDLESS for a 14-day free trial. That's an extra seven more days than they already give you. So, there you go. Enjoy it. It's like Netflix for horror. That was professional. Amazing. You didn't even have a script in front of you. No, no I, I've done that a couple times now. And so, uh, first of all, in his car, yeah, humble brag. Yeah, yeah, on the way here. Son of a shutter. Shutter. <laughs> shutter. <laughs> yep. So, uh, we got TLEV here today, and I just want to talk to them a little bit about, of course, their transition into a media channel. Now, I, I'm very, very, uh, I was very surprised when I saw it because uh, that's, a, that's a huge step for you guys. How, how was that? Transitioning into a media channel from your typical just straight horror. It was now, now it's everything, which is way more open to more stuff. Yeah, so uh, basically, what had happened was we originally started off this channel as kind of this like horror esque channel where we kind of focused mainly on you know HHN and stuff like that, just stuff we were comfortable with. But you know, as the time went on and as our channel grew, we realized you know there's more out there. So you know, we kept expanding, we experienced new things, and it came to a point where you know, our original channel, the name just didn't really fit where, where we wanted to go. So, you know, we, you know, came back, talked it over, rebranded, decided, you know what, let's just become a full-on media channel and let's just, you know, explore, you know, what we like, you know, uh, interests. Uh, you know, Thomas has, you know, Disney and we have Universal, we have horror, we have comedies, you know, all this stuff that just, you know, kind of makes up TLEV. We decided let's just make that into the channel itself and I, I think it's done pretty well so far i i have to say i've i've enjoyed every uh, second of it um because not only are were you guys doing horror but now you guys are doing a little bit of everything um you know thomas is going to like warner brothers and he's doing all these other st other things and stuff like that and it, it was it's awesome i think because now i get to see more content more uh, more variety of stuff, which I, I think for for me when I first started this channel it was just horror, 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 mm -hmm. and now I love to see more variety. I love to see. I'm a big fan of theme park con construction updates, so therefore I, I love to see what's going on on theme parks. You just put up one as of this recording, two days or yesterday. Yeah, so um, that was really cool. Uh, movie reviews. You guys are doing movie reviews? Uh, Thomas just put up the Us movie review. Literally this morning, um, but you guys are doing reviews. You guys are doing a lot of a lot of scenes, stuff behind the scenes that not a lot of channels get to experience, and that's cool to bring to the audience because they get to see a whole new retrospective as to what's going on in the media world. You know, they get to see more as to um, how stuff gets done. You know, a lot of behind the scenes, which 
me, me personally, I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan of behind the scenes stuff, so it it, it works out perfectly. Um, I, mean, I, know I know for us, what was a main struggle when we just did horror is we would have to take breaks because there right. wouldn't be news coming out, yeah. and so with this big change, we know we when horror is not going, we've got other stuff to do, and I find that that it's so much easier yeah. now. Yeah, content. To post content. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So you, that, you, you're limited. To, uh, you can do everything now. You're not limited to just one genre, um, and I. Believe me, I get that. <laughs> I get that. I get that. Um, so going on to uh, just talking more about the channel, what is your what would be your like favorite things to now now that you have more opportunities to film stuff? What's what is what is some of your favorite things that you've done thus far? That's just been some highlights. I think for the channel wise, uh, winning the belt. Winning that belt. <laughs> you had to bring that up, huh? Because it's already sitting next to me, and it's just like that was one thing, but. Yeah, no, I think construction updates as uh, as a whole, I think are a lot cooler now because now we get to go. Yeah. You know, they go they go to Knott's. You know, I was just at Universal. We go to Disneyland and Six stuff like that. Awesome. Six Flags. Yeah, you know, cool. we just get to kind of explore everything now, and I think it's definitely a lot cooler for us and for like our audience to you know like people who don't get to go to like Six Flags or people who yeah, you know, no, don't, new don't locals. Get, yeah, know. no locals yeah. get to see what's going on. So yeah, yeah, uh, especially like I, we were talking on the way here. Uh, from what Universal is to you, that's like Disneyland to me. For what Disneyland is to you, that's like Universal to me. So it's like I don't get to come out here as much as I can. If I'm lucky, I get to come once a month. Sadly, my pass is expired for Universal, so I gotta renew that. But uh, that that's yeah. Um, but yeah, it's stuff like that where like, like when you when you say talking about Six Flags, that's all the way out in Ventura for me. So it's like I can't get out there. I probably don't fit on anything. Therefore, I have to. I, I mean, I'm glad I get to watch stuff like you guys and stuff because then I get to keep updated as to what's going on. And what's sad is I love, I would love to go to Six Flags because I got a bunch of DC stuff. Don't you worry, new updates coming soon. Oh, the plug! You heard it here first, an exclusive first from Mr. E. Um, so I thought we was not scripted. It was not scripted. <laughs> <laughs> <It was> not <laughs> scripted. <laughs> I thought we'd play a, a fun game that I, I've seen on a late night uh, show. Um, recently, uh, not recently, but it's been on a couple times. I thought it'd be fun just to see. I, the reason why I didn't bring it up before, because I thought I would love to just see your raw reactions to it. Um, so, as a media hey, channel, what are you hey, what are you whispering over there? there? Yeah, as a channel, you guys Run. are, <laughs> as, you guys are a trio, um, and that comes with uh, a lot of uh, decision making and you know, getting on board with each other. <laughs> I'm gonna start with you, Mister E. Rank your <laughs> co-stars from least to, to best as to who you get along with the most and who you don't get along with the least. Or who just, or just, or just how it goes within making who's the most difficult to work with. The most difficult to work with? Yeah, being the most easiest to work with. I knew this would be like an awkward thing okay, just because... No, <laughs> oh, this gonna, is gonna, gonna I'm sorry if I just destroyed this channel right now, but I, I, I Artists yep. to work with. I mean, I, I could say both of them because Because <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Osway, the, the reason it's hard to work with Osue is because he doesn't live I close by I live so far away yeah. Yeah. But I don't think that's the kind of hardest to work with you're asking or like, <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, you, let you answer that. That's all up to you, my friend. I'm gonna say this way because you look far away. There we go. I'll keep it to that. And then, because because of that, because of that brotherly love, he's gonna you know keep Thomas at the best because you know they live together. So I mean. Oh, but it's not easy to work. That's, that's either. Favorite either. Not oh, okay. <laughs> what's way? Yeah, what's up? What's what is rank them? Me easiest to work with? Yeah. <laughs> 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 they gotta, they gotta do this to me. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta all right, all right. Um, hey, you know I love you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think, oh, I, I think he's the hardest to work with, uh, just because. But it's not, no, not like in a bad way. No, not, not, not in a bad way. Yeah, I, no, this is it, it, It's difficult to work with him because we both have really big ideas, mm -hmm. and so a lot of the times ideas will conflict, yeah. and then we're both on this kind of like. Weird struggle. It's like, well, we can do this, and then we can do that. Uh, so it, it, it gets kind of hard when you know me and him like butt heads on something, and me and he kind of just always agree on stuff. Yeah. So. <laughs> so that's simple. So Thomas. Thomas. I haven't seen, seen you much so, so far. Yes, I would like to say that they are both at the same. <laughs> 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 
uh, that yes, I am a perfectionist, and uh, yeah, it, it comes with its flaws, and I understand that very well. <laughs> You can thank that game for Mr. Uh, James Corden. Like, yeah. 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 Write that question. <laughs> I thought it would be fun. Oh, gosh. Now, if you were to tell me about me and George, it's not really it's not really a thing because we don't work together. No, no. I, I, I'm doing something else. We're, we're, we're doing other stuff together, and, 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 and that's, that's a whole different story. Uh, hashtag, hopefully, we get a comic book going pretty soon. Oh, why are you spoiling stuff? That's all, that's all I'm saying. Bleep that now. Bleep it. I think it would sound wrong if we believed it, you know. It would. We've got a we got a book book coming out. <laughs> could, could be anything, anything at that point. Um, um, all right. All right. Here's, here's the, the here's the here's the non horror related heavy, heavy questions. I'm gonna start, start with Thomas. Here we go. Batman, Batman or Superman. Yes, I would like to say. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard uh, yes, I will say Superman just because Superman uh, is indestructible and Batman is Batman. Yeah. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, this podcast is over. over. <laughs> I've always been the uh, Superman to his Batman, so that's just kind of our dynamic. Let's wait. Let's wait. I have money, so Batman. <laughs> Batman. Yeah, I think I think money beats invincibility. Because you can just pay somebody to destroy invincibility, or or is Superman like like let's say let's say because th there's different ways to destroy invincibility. Like maybe Superman likes his house, but maybe Batman forecloses his house, you know, and then Superman has to live out in the street, and then he's like, you know what? Uh, uh, how about I hire you, Superman? And then you j you just made Superman a hitman, you know? I'm just, I'm just saying. It's, it's, it's true. true. Hitman. Super Hitman. So DC, if you're listening and you take this like from me, like, bro, we're, we're throwing hands. DC, all I'm saying is just, you know, five, five of us in here looking for uh, hopefully a job in the DC universe. Uh, I can turn your universe around. Your movie universe? I can fix it. I think he's saying that definitely. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get a job, but uh, I don't think Peter Saffron. And, and, and the last one was Mr. Batman and Superman. Superman. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go based off of movies. Batman, The Dark Knight. Come on, come on. That's a great area of movies. But let's, let's remember Bats v Soups when Superman just tosses back the thing to trash. Is your eye. Eye. <laughs> He's like, um, um, the, the question wasn't about villains. It was about those heroes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, okay, still, The Dark Knight is such a good movie. Such a good movie. Thank you. <laughs> Exactly. If you leave the Joker by himself, I just we don't, don't talk about that, that Joker. <laughs> Dude, I love Jack Nuggerson's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. Alright, All right. next, next question. question. Michael, Michael Myers, Myers Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees. Damn. Just just right. Right. Yeah, but Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees didn't give you Lockjaw. Yeah, but Jason Voorhees is amazing. So. I can't. I, Jason cool. Voorhees made me not want to swim. Ooh, Michael Myers, Myers makes me afraid of Halloween. I was always afraid of Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm gonna say Michael Myers. Michael Myers. Myers. I like that. We had some, some memories in that maze. It was mystery. We did. We did. We did. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, I can't get it, guys. Hold on, bring back, bring back the memory. That's right. That's right. You take shot and he'll edit. Oh man. If you guys want to go back to that video, let's just say, say it, 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 it wasn't what I expected was going to happen. I expected Mr. E to scream. I, I, had the number I, I had the numbers game in my hand, and I thought, and I thought we were going to do it three versus one, but it was essentially one on one every maze we went through, and you know, I mean, it was fair, I guess. But yeah, Michael Myers. Michael Myers? Yes. How we doing? Good? We're good. That's the magic power of editing. That's the power of pie solving. Anyway, anyway Thomas. Thomas. Oh, yes, I would like to say Michael Myers just because Michael Myers, uh, he got his hand shot off and he was still, like, this is Michael Myers. Still grabbing Lori like that. Michael, Michael Myers. Myers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the, here is the heavy hay question. question. This is going to start a heated argument right mm -hmm. now. Is it? Uh, I don't know. It did us. Sure, sure did it with us. us. Episode, episode 7, seven or episode, episode 8. eight. Ew, what? <laughs> what the heck? The Last, the last Jedi. Jedi or Force uh, yeah, I, I got that reference. Uh, I say the Force Awakens. Yeah, I'm, I'm a second that seven. Bro, what are you gonna don't make it. Are you gonna say the Last Jedi no, or the Force Awakens? We, we already, already had this argument, and now we're, we're doing, doing it all as a. You know, you know Snoke's death is stupid. <laughs> but green titty milk. 
That's the greatest scene. And, and there's Puppet Yoda too. I know. <laughs> but I want it straight from the air, and I want to go. Oh, it's gonna be an animatronic. Is you tell oh my me. God, yes. <laughs> You tell me how it. No, wait. You didn't even answer the question. What are you talking? Okay. I I would say eight is better than than, than uh, seven. I will it say will, this that is one eight thing has say. its strengths. Yeah. It has <laughs> puppet Yoda. It has arguably one of the best fight scenes. But it but it doesn't have Ben Ben. It doesn't have Han Solo, exactly, which is why I wouldn't give it. It makes Chewie a freaking vegan. I don't like my Chewie being a vegan. There's, 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 there's always, always option, option three, three too. Both, Both of them, them just are not good. good. I'm just going to stick with the original. I think, I think what hurt the last Jedi the most... Did you just hear what he just said? What the original? He doesn't like three or two. He doesn't like three or two. What did he do? You just hear what he just said. You don't like Revenge of the Sith? Wait, you don't like this is good, but the original... You like Ben. No, 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 no. But he's just saying the original trilogy is better than... I can give it. The newer ones. First six. six? So when you do, when, so you're saying four to six better than one to three. Yeah, I agree with that. Any, any. Four, four to six are better than any of the Star Wars movies any day. Well, well, I would agree. I would agree that I, I would, would disagree. I actually, except you know for what? a new Revenge one. Revenge of the you know Sith, what? I think it's better I would, yeah, than... I would, say, I would say Revenge of the... Okay, let's, let's just start this debate. I would Go. say that Revenge of the Sith is better than A New Hope. Thank you. Yeah, I would also agree yeah. with that. Yeah. I think New Hope yeah. is really, really weak. I, I, I want to I, I say that too, but I think the only thing that... Kind of, kind of ruins it for me is Hayden Christensen oh. and maybe oh. some stuff. Okay, we, okay can you explain that? I don't get yeah, it. I don't get I, that. I, I don't think that. that, 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 um, that. That man's a genius. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know, some of his acting is kind of Can wonky. you make your lip tremble? <laughs> I hate you! <laughs> I hate you! <laughs> oh, um, there's that. There's that. Uh, I like Sam. I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm all, all for the, uh, like, like people make fun of, like, Padme dying of a broken heart. I'm like, that, like, that's me. I'm like, oh, yeah. Don't die of it. Like, that, I'm like that guy for love. Uncle Ben, so it's true. Yeah, yeah, I'm that guy. <laughs> I, I uh, I have to say, say episode, episode four, four is probably, probably my all-time favorite Star Wars. Uncle Owen, it's <laughs> rude. <laughs> now, now let me say this: got a bad motivator. And, and, and this, this is my always argument with the original trilogy. Everybody, Everybody thinks Luke Skywalker is this big badass. badass. He's not. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a little crying bitch throughout the whole series. Until the, I'd say until the. We love you, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill, I love you so much. You are the Joker in my eyes. But I'm, but I'm sorry. sorry. Your character, your character, George, George Lucas, messed up his character really bad. I feel like by the sixth movie, he kind of now, now, yeah, yeah, he, he he's changed a little he's bit. Changed. But that's, that's also movie. a few years, right? Or is it a few months? No, it's, from it's, the, it's a couple years. Yeah. Yeah. Couple yeah. years. He yeah. Was so training. he's gone. Yeah. He was training. Yeah. 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 Exactly. You know who's the best out of all? Don't say it. You know? Don't say it. Wato. Finn. FN two and eight seven. No, Rose. 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 Rose Tico. You can't tell me you shed a tear. Rose Tico was like, and then she died. No, it was like, bro. I was already. Rose tried to kiss. I was already. She didn't try. She did. The Princess Leia thing just killed me in the movie, which is done for kids. Okay, but she knows the. She's like Mary Poppins, yo. Look, 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 look. I just want to say. I just want to say. She is the sister of probably one of like the greatest force users ever. Uh, so like, why can you tell me that? Back 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 back. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why can she do that? But Plo Koon, when he gets blasted in space, can't come back. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. In there, they shot in the back. Right, right but she exploded. But she, she <laughs> got shot in the back too. That area, <laughs> like a pool. My whole thing is why right? was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. The real, the real victim in that whole scene was Adam Agbar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rest in peace, the king. That's why I hate it. He should have, yeah. he should have been the one that goes hyperspeed yeah. into the other ship. Yeah. <laughs> it's a trap. It's my trap. It's my trap. I will say, say this stuff. though. I will say this. this. The new, the new stuff. stuff they're, 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 they're building the new Star Wars lines based off the new stuff. I am, I am hyped right, right now. Not oh. true. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, okay. oh, oh, you know what? Mr. Stanley, the guy who does all this stuff. Okay. 
Yes and no, okay? Because this is taking place before the events of Force Awakens. The reason why you fly the Millennium Falcon is what, what's Simon Pegg's monster thing called? Unkar Plut. Yeah, that. Unkar uh, Plut. Okay, yes. You get it before he gets it. You're in charge of the Millennium Falcon. So you're basically gonna lose it. it. No, no, I can explain it. Is it what's this like? Like it's like after, after, yeah, it's after, it's after all the animated. Han's been dead and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 I, I, I'm very you're, 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 you're piloting it. You're, you're no, in charge. I, no, I understand. You know what I want? You, you probably don't own but it, but what, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. it's, it's going to be very interactive, too. Like, mm -hmm. you're going to be some fire stuff I, and press, press, press buttons, buttons and mm -hmm. that's, that's just been my childhood dream. That's not. Yeah, yeah but you're going to have a little Asian kid or, or a tourist kid that's going to have the roles that you won't have. I thought you were ready for that. My dream is to have a land that has complete, you know, every ride open when it opens. Right? Right? Oh. So it's still here. Still not completed. Hey, be careful, be careful, be careful. Yeah, be but, careful. but, uh, but, but that, that, just goes, <laughs> that just goes your media access, I'm sorry. It's by the end of, like, the ride, the Millennium Falcon ride, you have Han Solo and Chewie walk and say, Chewie, move. But that would be so dope. Chewie. Chewie, I would hug you. Not yet, yeah. Please don't. <laughs> anyway, back to the back to the uh, topic at hand. Um, we got a little off topic, but that's that's okay. This is, this is Mindless Horror Podcast. We can talk about anything, even though it's about horror. The horrors of Kylo Ren. The horrors of Last Jedi. What are you? I'm kidding. 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 i because one, one person in this room did not watch it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you sudden big doo doo now. You sudden big doo doo. <laughs> Tag team. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So, so is this a non spoiler talk of. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna try, try my best. best. I, can't I can't make any promises. I will, I will say that. that I'll do you wanna get headphones in just a little bit? I will, I will say, say that here at TLAB Studios, Studios, we have a policy yeah, that if you are going to spoil something, you have to make this motion that you are spoiling it. Spoilers. Spoilers. Okay? You have to say it because, right, this is a podcast. After all, people are not gonna be watching. So if they see your lips about to quiver into a. <laughs> Spoiler! Uh, uh, it's better to heavy metal. metal. That's yeah. all I can suggest. Yeah. So, okay, okay, but blast. Oh, yeah, I, I don't want to pick it up. But, um, so, so, I think what, for the, for the sake, sake of, of as he's setting up, we should just overall lay out exactly. how we feel about the film. Okay. And then, and then go into it. Alright, well, first, first off, off I'm gonna, I, and I was talking to him throughout the entire, after we watched it, on the way home, we had a freaky story that we'll share. I walked out, out to this day, I am still very mind fucked about it. I agree on that one. I agree on that I'm one. I'm still very traumatized from this movie. <laughs> and he did it, and that's how you know he did a good job. I am mind fucked. I'm still trying to, I'm still piecing together this movie. I'll go back and watch the trailers and, and, and piece together the movie. Stuff that I missed, stuff that I, I still want questions for. It takes a second watch. It take, I, I want to watch it again. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Because it's one of those movies where. The smallest details you gotta pay attention mm -hmm. to. It. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You really do, yeah. and I feel that from the start of the begin, from the beginning of the movie to the very end, everything makes <laughs> everything makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it comes full circle. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's connected throughout the whole movie. I think it's kind of like the sixth sense. If you have to watch that a second time mm -hmm. to see the connections from the beginning. Yeah. Exactly. So, so that's that's just my. What about you? How did you feel about it? Um, I thought it was uh, like coming out of it. I do. I would say, like you, um, like you think uh, it's better than Get Out. Um, coming out of it, I thought that. I'm not gonna say I think it's better than Get Out. I think it's on par with Get Out. Um, there's still stuff that we have to like go in there and actually watch. I think that'd be better when we get it on like a Blu-ray or a DVD mm -hmm. just to go through and rewatch everything. Um, We've watched a couple of breakdowns of like people really going in like nitty and gritty and uh, everything. It's really good. My only, the only bad thing about it, and it's not even about the movie, is people are reviewing it like a, like going into it expecting to get scared and they don't get scared and they're giving it bad reviews. There's a lot of comedy relief in the. Yeah, that's what I saw. Majority, me and him were looking at the reviews on Rotten Tomatoes too, and a lot of the reviews were, 
I didn't get scared, and the movie doesn't make sense. I'm like, that's where you really got to pay attention, yeah. though. Yeah, uh, it must be a wuss because I was terrified. I think I, no, no, there was points in the movie where I was like, oh wow. Well, I think they're expecting a James Wan, you know, like yeah. uh, in city or no. See, honestly, kind of I thing. would say I would say this was better than any James Wan film that I've seen. Wow. This film, because <laughs> I, I would say that this, I would say that this was better than Insidious, The Conjuring, and you know how much I love The Conjuring. That's, That's a bold that statement. Very bold statement. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that because of how, s- actually, there's a lot of what he learned from Saw that he kind of abandoned. I would say that Saw is very similar to this, though. Hold. I will say that. Billion dollars. <laughs> Billion dollars. Uh, they didn't pay us Out on DVD. <laughs> we, we are not getting paid for this. <laughs> That's just such a good movie that will advertise. Let me explain. So... How I felt about Insidious and The Conjuring, and which I love about those those films, is that there are degrees of fear. It's almost like you're on a roller coaster with okay. fear. I felt like with this movie, I was at such a high level of suspense the entire film. From the moment the tethered family comes, the, the doppelgangers, all the way until the very end of the film, I am at such a high level of anxiety that even with those somewhat breaks, I don't feel like there really are breaks. Like, you know, the jokes that, that Gabe Wilson makes about, you know, about uh, even when he's like fighting the, the other guy in the, in the, in the, in the yacht. When they, they take somewhat of a break, right, after one of the scenes where they're actually watching the newscast. Even that point, I was on such high alert because, as rightfully so, right, there's a character that... Oh, wait, hold on. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. You heard it. There's a character that was there, dead, that's not dead anymore, that's moved after she goes back to get the car keys, right? That was such a fantastic scene. That was... I felt like that... It, this entire movie, I was at such high levels that there wasn't really a relief. And I like how you brought that up because in the theater, right when I saw that scene, they they they, they showed her on purpose because mm-hmm. that was that's and that's at that moment I was like something's gonna happen with that character, something's gonna happen where they're gonna have to come back in that same room and that character's gonna be gone. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, but that is the point of the movie where I was like, holy shit, they kept so much from the trailer that I was I was going in expecting one thing. We got a taste of it, and when I walked out, I was like, what did I just watch? You know, and the spoiler, I mean, at the same time, it doesn't spoil anything, but then once you see the movie, you're like, oh, wait, it's kind of, the ending's kind of spoiled in the trailer. In a way, you know, yeah. In a way, in a in a way, way I, I see what you're saying, yeah. because the majority of that ending is in the trailer, mm-hmm. but I was not expecting that ending. Okay, I'll be honest. It's because, maybe it's because I've been obsessed with this movie for the past two months. I've been... Listening to I Got Five on it every single day since it was in the trailer. I've been nonstop thinking about this. I knew the ending. I I going in and I was gonna I was gonna tell my dad because I saw it with my dad and I was like, you know, I've got a theory. He's like, No, I don't want to hear it. But what I was going to say was my theory is that spoilers, spoilers, right? We are talking about the ending of this film. Spoilers, 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 that they were flipped. I had a theory that they were going to be flipped. I started piecing it together uh, about, I want to say, when she went down, I knew something was up. When she went down the escalator, I knew something was up. What did he just say? Marcel Wallace's soul is in that briefcase. I, I agree. Anyway, <laughs> I, uh, I, I knew something was up the minute she walked into that fun house and found that trap door. Mm. Because I was like, okay, yeah, how, how does one? How does find the that yeah? How does the other one know where the door was exactly? I mean, I understand that there was that time when she was a kid, she got traumatized and she saw herself. She could have remembered, but she knew exactly where to go. She knew exactly every part of that place. Um, another another part I kind of found disturbing in the movie was uh, well, I found two parts disturbing. We'll go back to that family the the family scene and when they just uh, come in and the dog gamers just kill them. Out of nowhere. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of doing it. As, okay, all right. I mean, at this point, it's already spoilers. This is your podcast. No, at this point, 
The minute we start talking about us, it was spoilers. I'm gonna put it in the title. Okay. A spoiler. So, um, I think that scene just got me. It threw me off guard. At that point, I was like, "Wait, that family's not the only one with doppelgangers." Yeah, that was a good one. That was I was good. like, "You got to be kidding me!" The simplicity of the scene is what got me. I've been nonstop thinking about that entire that scene in particular because really, the only person who speaks among the tethered. See, I was gonna say is, about that. is red. Yeah, t- what I wanted to say from that is that you know I started to figure out that something was up. Is that the mom is the only one of the tethers that speaks? Yeah, mm-hmm. and I found that very fishy. Why does she know how to speak English, but the others don't? Yeah, yeah. Um, and we were talking about it last night. And one of my my things was okay, and he and he, he made it very clear to me too. And I I just thought about, about that, but. The, the girl, girl goes down, down at the very end. We find out, of course, they switched and everything. Mm-hmm. The girl goes down there. She she speaks perfectly good English because she grew up. She has to be like ten years old. She's been speaking mm-hmm. English for like ten sure. years. Why was it that she couldn't speak English after she got trapped down there? And then he brought up a good point. She probably went crazy from hearing them moan all these years. That she that that's how she just adapted to life. It, it all comes it all comes to the story that she says when she says, "Once upon a time there was a princess and her shadow." That entire story, in one time she says the shadows, they went mad. And that's what happens. She goes crazy. This whole, and so, for those of you who, who are wondering what Jeremiah 11, 11 is about. We, we oh, yeah, we looked that up immediately yeah. after. So, it's about, it, it's, it's a vengeance story. But it's a vengeance story that is ignored. Mm-hmm. Where they, so, so the Lord says that they will reign hell. But evil will Oh, well, why don't I just, read just exactly read it quickly. what it's yeah because, yeah, because that, that I think that too was the overall message of the movie oh, as well absolutely. because no, uh, or something like that. so it says therefore thus said the Lord behold I will bring evil on them which they shall not be able to escape and though they shall cry to me I will not listen to them so the evil is within the evil is within the evil is or the Lord in this case is red right or not red it's Adelaide, who we think is Adelaide, because she is the evil that switches this little girl, traps this little girl in a world that she has, she wasn't born in, and this, and then Red wants vengeance, but Adelaide ignores that vengeance by killing her, by stopping this. That even even though she doesn't stop the, what eventually becomes the the tethered, we are America, that. This is this is a story of failed vengeance. Yeah. Um, another thing that I've been also talking to him about was the fact that she develops all these feelings for this family. Mm-hmm. Now we, of course, like I said again, we don't find out that she's the doppelganger until the very end of the movie. Now, my biggest concern and my biggest thing is, okay, these clones obviously have no souls. These are mm-hmm. these are man these are man-made clones mm-hmm. in the. I'm gonna get a little religious here. In, in the Bible, Bible it, it's it's stated that if if uh, when God makes you, of course you have a soul. If it's a man-made creature, probably doesn't have a soul. Mm-hmm. Now my biggest my biggest question still is how did she develop these feelings for this family? Uh-huh. Now don't you and, and we've talked we kind of had a, a, a little discussion about it last night. Mm-hmm. Don't you have to have a soul to feel something? Well, in, in Kingdom Hearts, uh, <laughs> yes, if you don't have a soul, you are considered a nobody, and nobodies don't feel anything. Um, you can either be a heartless or you can be a nobody. Uh, the heartless are without a heart, nobodies are without a soul. Uh, it's not until the bodies combine that, yes, you start to feel things. Anyway, that's Kingdom Hearts. Uh, in this film, um, it's not so much that they don't have a soul, it's that they are sharing. Soul. Remember, yeah, they're she all says that they're, yeah, yeah, that they're, and that, that's really why they are tethered, right? The reason why, you know, up above, like in the entire sequence where we mm-hmm. see uh, the carnival, the carnival they're, yeah. they're doing the exact same thing. That was a very creepy ground. sequence, by the way. Yeah. My only problem with that is when they show the roller coaster guests. Honestly, they should be like throwing up, uh, yeah, up like against the walls. They shouldn't just be like. They should be like. But I mean. I get that would have been too funny, um, but so they share a soul, they share thoughts, they share ideas, and so what happens when they're switched at so young? 
That's that is her family, right? That is the doppelganger's family. That's her. That's her husband. She created those. Those are her children. The uh, the opposite side, when she comes across her children's doppelganger and her husband's doppelganger, well, actually, I don't know about her husband, but her children's doppelganger, she's not able to kill her children's doppelganger because she knows what it means to be a doppelganger. She is a doppelganger. So that's... that's she lets it happen. She just lets them die. She, But even like when Jason kills his doppelganger, she screams out to Jason to not do it. Yeah. So it it's this idea that yeah she she does feel because probably what happened was that Red stopped feeling because she went crazy. So if they're sharing a soul, she probably had more control of the soul than Red did because Red was going insane. If she yeah. truly feels for the tethers, then why did she just kill the other family like it was nothing? Ooh, that's a good call. Well, um, I mean, when uh, when they first go on the beach, because since they share a soul, mm-hmm. um, and she's talking to the other family, but specifically the wife, it's like I f- I got the sense that they the wives were first meeting for the first time, because she tells her she's like, sorry if I'm not if I don't really talk to you, mm-hmm. I am not really vocal, like I just don't really like to talk. Mm-hmm. So okay. like I don't think she really cared about them. Right. Okay. 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 That's a good call. Yeah, they didn't really have that much of a connection. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, I agree with you. I think I, this was a great film about anxiety, I think, and PTSD, just from a different perspective. This was a, a film I, I feel had multiple messages to it. Like with Get Out, it was, of course, one essential message that we got in there. With this, it, it felt like there was something each, each as you've gotten further and further in the movie, you were learning new yeah. messages and, and stuff. Um, and this was the funny story that I'm going to bring up. I was taking him home right after the movie, um, and we were talking about it in the car and everything. I stopped at the light. There's this guy in this truck. He's smiling, right? And I thought he looked at me. And I turn over, and I get creeped out, and I look at George, and I go, dude, I think that guy just smiled at me. <laughs> after that, and this guy's, and this guy's kind of looking at me like I'm crazy, but it's like, that's how this movie made me feel. Mm-hmm. Oh, Basically, that's how traumatized I was from this film. It makes you wonder. Is there something like this going on in the world? Mm. Oh, that's strange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what, no, no, but that's how I walked out. I'm like, no, no, is there something going on like that? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, so I, honestly, like, uh, from my perspective, um, I really just think it's like a Yeah? He should have done twice. twice. How'd you know we were on that topic? That's so weird. <laughs> wow. You called it, dude. You were like on top of it, man. Well, so I think I think at this point we should we should. At this point though, we're gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna give our final thoughts, mm-hmm. final verdict of the movie. Okay, I honestly I enjoy it way more than Get Out because I feel like this really was the the next step, the evolution in Jordan Peele's writing. I mean, the characters that he writes. And in, in what I, when I did when I wrote my review, I compared it to to Halloween, yeah, <laughs> and I compared it to uh, Happy Death Day, right? Those are two <laughs> horror films I ju- that came out in in the past six months. Those films try to create comedy by having characters that are comic relief, like that's their only job. They are static. That is their only thing. The Wilson family, and it could be basically because. I mean, it could also be just because it's an amazing cast, right? Lupita Nyong'o, Winston Duke, Evan Alex, uh, Shahadi, right, Joseph. They make a fantastic family. By the way, both from Black Panther. Exactly, yeah. This was a great reunion. Um, I mean, they... got to use the actors and actresses. That Honestly, like, but I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> In the movie, the only thing that was coming in my mind was, Hippo Ben! <laughs> Every time I saw Winston Duke on, yeah. on camera. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the reason why Jason is wearing a gorilla mask is because it's tying back to yeah. to Black Panther when Mbaku is the uh, king, leader of the Jabari tribe. Um, but th- it's a fantastic cast where the the comedy re- the comedy comes from their interactions, right? When they are literally running away from the tethers, and and Zora's like, "No, I'm driving." Yep. It's like, it's like Child, not, not right now. now. It's the littlest She's thing. Been yeah. Been yeah. Been from the beginning. Exactly. And so uh, the, every action 
had a reason behind it. No, no character was there just for sake of being like filler for the story. It was everything was decided. Everything was very purposeful. Everything you saw had a reason to it, and I think because of that, it made this film. I mean, it was just the next level in comparison to Get Out, and I am so excited to see what Jordan Peele's third movie, fourth movie, fifth, fifteenth, twentieth movie are going to be because this was original. It was refreshing. I honestly can't even remember the last time that I've had a horror film get to me as this has because, you know, there's always that, like, when you can say, oh, it's just a horror film, right? It's, it's, there's no way it can affect me. The whole story is that everyone who's existed since 1986, every child that they've had, every marriage that they've had, has a shadow, has a tethered attached to it. So all of us, even though none of us existed in 1986, there is a tethered version of us in this world. And that living in the freaking living in the, the tunnel. tunnels. That's the creepiest part, <laughs> is when he puts that little factoid at the yeah, beginning of saying there's so many tunnels that are not being used. There's a. Uh, it was funny because right after the movie, I told George, I was like, "Why didn't the military just come in and shoot them all?" Exactly, because the military there was already tethered for the military that knew all military tactics and probably killed them already. Probably, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. He he said something else. He goes, "What'd you say?" Well, I said I thought it'd be kind of weird that military would just roll up on people standing in line and start gunning everyone. <laughs> oh, I'd be like, yeah. they just kill people. But off. that would make a political statement about yeah. the, the, how we feel, uh, how our country is structured right now. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, ooh, that would be an interesting, interesting right? political satire right there. But overall, fantastic film, Jordan Peele. I can't wait to meet you to pick your brain about how how you have developed such a mind for storytelling. Bring him on the podcast. I just want to come and watch it. <laughs> I don't even want to be in it. I just want to watch it, dude, because that, that guy looks fantastic. Mystery, final verdict. Uh, I want to say this movie is better for Get Out than Get Out, but the reason is because I couldn't tell what the ending was going to be. I couldn't. Uh, uh, recording it, uh, great, you know? That would be a short intermission. Mystery, your thoughts, your final verdict. You might want to put those back on just quickly. I mean, there's not going to be spoilers, but all right. Okay. <laughs> so what I want to say is... Um, I found, I found this movie a lot, movie not a lot, lot better, better, but better than Get Out. Reason it for that is because I couldn't tell what the ending was going to be. Uh, but for Get Out, I could easily tell. From the beginning, I was like, if someone, the, that girl right there is going to just trap this man like every other African-American she brought into the family. Um, but with this movie, I, I need to watch it for a second time. I have to because I need to know where is the connection, where, when it is it happen. Um, also, this for me is like a warm up for the Twilight Zone series coming out by Jordan that. Peele. That's gonna be good. Um, so, if this content is basically gonna be like the Twilight Zone content, I am very excited. Uh, Jordan Peele, well done again on your second, I wouldn't say a horror movie, but thriller. Um, but yeah, so really enjoy it. I would say it's more of a horror film. Would you? Yeah. Thriller. He came out on Twitter and said it's a horror, <coughs> film. <coughs> horror film. That's what he said. I would say, I'd say Get Out was a thriller, and uh, Us is a horror. horror. Yeah, because Get Out, it's got its aspects where it's just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's just like, it's not, I don't see horror. Yeah, this it's more, it's like when you find out what, the, what they're doing, it's like a thriller. Like, oh my God, what are these guys doing? George, your final verdict? Uh, it's good. I'm going to stand by, I think it's on par with Get Out. I don't think it's better. I don't think it's worse. I mean, they're both amazing movies. Mm -hmm. and I'm I I I'm I'm excited for what he has what else he has to come out. I just some part of me wants it to be like Quentin Tarantino how he makes a movie like once every like four years. Like he really takes his time with them and like when he releases them it's gold. But uh, like I don't want him to get burned out uh, just making movies every like two years. Like I really I would be so him. upset yeah. if yeah, that would no. break my heart. And that's the thing he takes his time making these movies and look how good they came out. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, let's let him, let him take it Get out. out came out, what, 2017? And then he waited two years and made another one. So it's like he's waiting every other year, which I, 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 I do respect that. Uh, me, I, I, I enjoyed the movie. Uh, like I said, left me with a big mind fuck, And I want to go watch it again because I have to double see, uh, double check, and rewatch and just focus on the little things that I didn't focus on the first time. Yeah, exactly. Just little stuff that I want to go see. 
I, I just want to rewatch it uh, just a couple times just to see all the subliminal messages. Oh, there are plenty, I'm sure. Yeah, so I, th I thought it was fantastic. Better did than you, get out. Did you guys see that in the second outfit that Zora is wearing, she's wearing a bunny shirt? Oh, I didn't even catch yeah, that. Yeah, she's wearing a bunny shirt. I was like, okay, what the hell is this And that with goes bunnies? back to the beginning because the movie, and that, that's what they threw me in. Oh, that was so The bunny scene, scene, I was like, oh, wh what? Mm -hmm. What's the point of this? And it comes full circle. So I mean, the fact that she picks up the the bunny doll and chops the head off of the bunny yeah. doll, and yeah, and also the going back to to messages. I think there's a nod to some of his influences. Yeah. When Jason is wearing a Jaws shirt. Yeah. And there are a couple scenes in the film that are very much inspired by Jaws. There's another scene, and I just watched an interview with him this morning. He's a huge Alien fan, so he he. He, he tried, tried to write uh, uh, this the main character, character as uh, uh, Ripley. He tried to make oh, her wow. a really badass like Ripley. You know, you know I mean, Ripley yeah. during yeah. the first yeah. Alien movie, she's fighting her way through. I can and this movie, yeah. she's, she's got she's fighting her way through. So mm -hmm. I, I thought that was interesting that he's a big Alien fan and he's trying mm -hmm. to. You know, do, you know, he loves aliens, so he wants to do that. Another thing uh, that I want to start to look out for, he said he can neither confirm nor deny that this ties in to Get Out. Oh, I would hate that. I would hate that. No, he said he wants to make a universe. Okay. But I want to know what. what Will it, it be like ties split in. kind of thing? You know, we're connected to. to I don't think he'll. And stuff like that. I don't think he'll do something like that. I think he just wants like to Quentin be. Like Tarantino, like Red Apple cigarettes. Okay. Like red oh, Apple okay. cigarettes, you know, or like how Kill, Kill Bill. Bill movies like Kill Bill and From Dust Till Dawn are supposed to be his movie movies. Interesting. In his universe, okay. Like his, how. In his, yeah. like, like Pulp Fiction, like, those are those supposed to be the movies they watch. Oh, like, I stuff see. Stuff like that. Okay. Or, like, how all of his other movies are tied in somehow, you know, mm -hmm. kind of like a timeline. Maybe it's not the same thing. They don't have to come all together. But I would hate Can that. I? Honestly, I would hate that. Can I make a quick connection that I just, I thought about? It might, I don't know if it, maybe that's not the connection. But, you know when the, the, the little boy, what's his name again? Jason or Pluto? Which one Jason, you know? Jason, not Pluto. Okay. You know he has the the bunny when he's leaving and when they're in the car he took the pet bunny with him. Yeah. Is that supposed to re represent that there is a tether still with him? Oh. And his mom is the tether. Oh. Oh shit. It's a good one. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure he knows. <laughs> Mystery coming. The way in with the, the way that it ends, I'm pretty Just sure he knows. Oh. Oh. Don't worry. Nanya, how about Tab, man? Wait. <laughs> ah, dude, come on. We just, uh, you know, what's your movie? Okay. We're all right. Actually, we're pretty right. Stuck. Yeah. I um. So yeah, that's the final verdicts. Uh, last thing we're gonna talk about, and this one kind of hurt me yesterday. Supernatural. After 15 oh, seasons. Yeah. Next. Next season. Fifteen seasons. Jensen Ackles. Cass. You can't hear. Supernatural. Wow, that is loud. Supernatural ending after fifteen seasons. <laughs> He's playing Baby Shark. He gets. Yeah. Why aren't you watching the Spider Verse? <laughs> So, so after uh, 15 seasons, the show's finally coming to an end. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah. That just shattered my heart. Yeah. Okay. So. I understand it's been 15 seasons, but it's not like they've been dragging it on. The story I mean, actually Thomas, do you want to jump into this one? Because I don't know much about Supernatural. Yeah. Here we go. Mr. E's taking a break. I'm on season 14. Wait. Oh. 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 All right, some Thomas shirt. Uh, okay, so I've gotten to the part where Negan's dead. Um, Spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> um, so, well, I mean, yeah. I've, I've got Walking I've Dead, by the way. Way past that. Um, oh, yeah, I'm so behind on The Walking Dead. I give up so on this it. The best episode they've ever made, ever in the history of ever, was the Scooby Doo episode. Oh, yeah. Scooby Natural. That amazing. That one was one. good. And my other favorite, my t I have two favorites, is the Yellow Fever one. Oh, see, I, see, I purposely I know that that one because. Uh, we had a little show a called uh, the Monthly Scream, where uh, so we talked about the Monthly it. Scream. I know people, are, people, people are asking for the Monthly Scream to come back. It was like, it was like one comment. comment. <laughs> you, know <what> <laughs> it was like, you know what other show? It was like You know what other show I miss? You know what other show I miss? 
Mr. E's conspiracy. Oh, Mr. E's conspiracy. So how about what the facts? What the facts? Oh, what the facts? Yeah, yeah. It, 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 yeah. I, I, I get it. Trust me. I know. Yeah. Well, time can be whatever I want it to be. Time's a concept. But you know who no one misses is the checklist. That's I miss it a lot, actually. I've been waiting for it every day. Put up a new video checklist. Oh, I'm not gonna watch it. I wrote a script for the checklist. It was gonna be all about. See, if he puts up a new video checklist, and I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> I feel like the checklist has been so far gone that I forgot what the checklist was. Remember? Like, the, oh, excuse you. You can excuse go walk you. out that Dead fucking me. door. Thank you very much. Okay. No, so uh, very much like how uh, the kill count. <laughs> Welcome no. to the kill count. Exactly. Oh, you know, I remember the checklist. Yeah, it was 20, it was 20 cliches. 20 cl- horror cliches. And I was going to check off in every part, like I doing a review. Uh, it didn't because I was yeah, like, what's the point? By the way, James A. Janice, nicest guy ever. Oh, yeah? Very, very, very nice. You guy. met him one time, Anthony. <laughs> and, that and that one time changed, about? changed my <laughs> life. <laughs> you don't know what he did that we, night. We met Crypt TV once. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay but <laughs> hold on. Is, no. Excuse no, you. Excuse you. The representative. Was we don't even know who that person homeboy? was. We know he was an affiliate of Crypt TV. But remember, Crypt TV watches Nights of Horror podcasts, so we can't. We're mindless horror podcasts. So they still watch? Of course they still watch. I of hope course. they still watch. Crypt TV, if you're watching, watch. that's why we're, we're not going to bring talk back your segment thing soon. Oh, Trust yeah. me. Exactly. So you can't, you can't say Crypt something TV, like that. Crypt TV, dude. Those guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the the, the checklist, the weekly slash monthly scream, and uh, Mr. Conspiracies, uh, Mr. Conspiracies, Mr. Conspiracies <laughs> uh, those were shows that were fun and uh, will never happen again. They did a so pilot. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. So is that a, is that official then? It's it's that, coming out from you. That it's never gonna happen again. Um, at I'm serious least note, though, this is this monthly. Sc- uh, I will say that monthly scream, Mr. E's Conspiracies, and the checklist have been. Put that they have been shelved. They have shelved. been shelved to the point where it's getting a little dusty. So they're gonna be archives. <laughs> okay. We're gonna throw them into the Disney vault. Yeah, there we go. Yep. The TLEV vault. We're gonna try. No, we're gonna throw them into the Disney vault. We're gonna try. Like, like right as they're closing, we're gonna go. <laughs> 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 see if they make it in. Uh, God, yeah. Um, but back to Supernatural. Yes, I am on season four. Uh, Lauren Cohan's in it. And uh, oh, she's, good she's a pretty good she's a pretty good addition to the to the cast. Um, you, know, you know what else? Lauren Cohen and Negan were both in Whiskey Caller. <laughs> oh no, wait, no, they were in Batman vs Superman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, you I was gonna your arm and they, and they died. Oh, Batman vs Superman. Did you forget the tattoo that you I did? <laughs> it's there now permanently, and it's part of his. I didn't know that either. He's yeah. the reason why I got. But tattoos. like, which version is that? Uh, well, my this is actually a. Uh, I think it's Ultimate Spider-Man. Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah, my dad got it for me um, when I was his young, skin. and uh, oh. it was his birthday in January, so I was like, "I'll get that for you." So it's for him. And that right there is supposed to be the representation of me and my dad's relationship. Oh. He's a huge Superman fan. I'm a huge Batman fan together. And then this, because you know the Punisher is just a badass. So he's always been my favorite Marvel. Character. And it's also because of your favorite movie, right? I am Legend. Right. Yeah. Yep, that's the one I got. It's true. Oh, oh that's the one that started the dish shot. <laughs> oh, not no more. That's oh, interesting. No, no, that's no, interesting. No, 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 no. Oh yeah. But Supernatural, 15 seasons, man. Yeah. <laughs> Last season, next. It's Maybe this episodes. will this will kick me into gear to finishing what, everything. I'll tell you what. No, you know, I was gonna look too hard to catch mm-hmm. up. The show is good. I just feel like I feel like, like, gonna, I feel like it's gonna get like Walking Dead status. The Walking Dead's gonna run for so long that at one point it's just gonna become just like because people who watch Supernatural, it's a dime a dozen. Mm-hmm. I, I would, I would, mm-hmm. say, mm-hmm. this is just me because mm-hmm. I, I, don't, I don't watch it as mm-hmm. much as I did back then. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I feel like even if you ask a lot of people like out there, it's like you, you rarely find people that still watch Supernatural. So I feel like it's a very selective broadcast show for certain types of fans. And you know, now we're kind of getting to the point where it's like, well, yeah. I mean, you know, you know, as, as the, the numbers, numbers have dwindled, I feel like they're realizing that. But like what I'm curious about, and maybe it could just be how it was displayed, I think it's the actors who called quits, not the studio. I don't know if you saw the announcement video, but they, yeah. they actually looked like they just got done crying. Yeah, some sort. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like, like they looked genuinely like, sad. Oh, God, yeah. he's, a, he's in. So, so it, it, it so they're. But uh, it might have been Jace, Jason or Jensen. 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 He's like, we just got down telling the crew that we're done. Yeah, because from what I took at a Comic Con one year, 
Well, no, that one year they said at a Comic Con that as long as the fans keep wanting it to go on, we're gonna keep doing it. So I don't know if that has anything to do with the decision they made or. But the I, fans I were know. like, "Stop." <laughs> Here's another thing, though. CW has been canceling and they have been canceling a lot of shows. They canceled Arrow. Yeah, Arrow's. Thank God. I'm gonna be honest. The last, the last. The la- that's that's actually no. You the last two seasons three. were getting on my nerves. <laughs> I got to season three and then everybody started dying and coming back and I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Nothing matters because they're just gonna. Lazarus pit. Lazarus pit. Lazarus pit. I don't. Do they still do that? Because I'm. I'm no, like. That hasn't been on the show. No, that hasn't. Wow. Okay. They've I destroyed I it. Actually. Season four. Yeah. I, well, I, there's this there's this new villain in Arrow called named Ricardo Diaz and he just gets on my nerves. <laughs> no, but he's just annoying and they need to get rid of him because he's been on the show for almost two, three, going on three seasons. I don't, I don't know. I haven't Wade Wilson has a son apparently. Yeah, that's been, I think that's in the comics though, isn't it? Yeah, that's in the comics. But like, Con- no, it's what? Comics, so. Okay. I know his daughter. I know he's a daughter. Yeah. But anyway, the one thing I want to see before Supernatural and Arrow ends. Uh, is the crossover with Supernatural and Arrow that they've always talked about. Supernatural and Arrow? That Jason Amell, or Jason Amell, Stephen, Stephen Amell has been wanting to do a crossover with Supernatural and they've been also down with that because they're both dark universes, which I can see and I've actually I've actually been wanting to see that. Supernatural's in the Arrowverse. So, but like, are they going to bring Constantine back? Well, Constantine's on Legends of Tomorrow right now. Yeah, yeah. So he's been on this whole season, I think. And, uh, I feel Legends of Tomorrow. That's getting canceled next season too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> is it being canceled or is it ending? I think it's ending. Okay, because uh, okay. Legends of Tomorrow, they switch out like Rosters. teams right. every right. season, so it's oh, like really? super fresh. Yeah. Oh, wow. um, that's, that's what I liked about when I, like, I was watching Legends of Tomorrow. I was like, this is a good show. And I think I just like got hooked on something else and just forgot about it. Mm. I, I, I'd be down to go back and like. Oh, it's a really good show. I just gotta watch this past season. I remember watching the pilot episode and then whenever they have the crossover I'll watch it then but this last season they purposely they did not do a crossover but they, they actually in the, the episode that before they went on the new season they actually brought it up like yeah, yeah. they told us they told us to help but we didn't want to go yeah it's like oh that sounds too much like, oh okay superman comes in the mix and it's just we don't want to go man oh my god they had a awesome Wicks. like smallville reference oh, they did did you, you didn't watch it though huh no oh I st- uh, I, it doesn't matter it was just cool over. But um, yeah. So yeah, I didn't want to watch Flash. Dude. After a while, I just like. Oh yeah, I stopped. The Flash, and I was like, yeah, the Flash has a daughter, and she's like, oh, I know. I got, I got she's so beautiful. Yeah, I was. That's the last season that's been out. Yeah, so I think that's the current one right now. The current uh, one is this whole season yeah. is about her getting her daughter back and Get, changing some back? time. What happened? Or getting her getting her back to. The oh, oh, okay. And changing I, I, changing I, the, the future. The last thing I remember is when she like. Oh, okay. See, I got to the part. Uh, no, no, no. That was no, last that was, season. That was last season. I got to the part when she's like best buds with Eobard Thawn, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna do this. But well, you're not gonna do it. I'm not gonna. I watched. I, watch, I <laughs> caught up. I caught up with Arrow and. <laughs> I'm about to graduate, bro. That's true. I have a lot of extra time. I caught up with Arrow and Flash just for the crossover, and I haven't watched it oh, since. Oh wow, you poor thing. <laughs> Trash. I know it is. Um, Cardio is trash. Oh goodness! Well, there, <laughs> you know there's probably trash? someone who's actually named Jonah that. Hank. That's the best movie ever. No, no not the movie. movie. The character in the uh, oh, he's badass. Uh, Legends. He's badass. He's so cool. I wish they put him. Did on that character right finally? Uh, Jonah Hex. Oh yeah. Old, 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 old melty face. That's Thanos, dude. That, that was. That dude. is. Yeah. That's Thanos and what's her face? Cable. Uh. No. Cable. Megan Fox. Is it Megan yeah. Fox? No, I'm saying Cable though too. What's going on here? <laughs> Whoa, dog! Cable's cool. I'm so lost. I'm You're not missing much. much. You're not missing much. Dude, Michael There's Fassbender's in that movie too. Is he? What the fuck? Magneto. What the hell? Fox, or should we say Disney now? Yeah. Dude, okay. Let me tell you something about the Daredevil movie. That costume is fantastic. The story is trash. Okay, first of all, how dare you not even? Credit Foggy Nelson. Nelson. It's true. John Favreau. Yeah, John Favreau. John Favreau. Still trash. Electra Nachos. Sounds like a spicy Mexican dish. Yeah. Come on, man. Do you know there are alligators in the sewers? <laughs> yeah. All the time. And there are fights at <laughs> Jungle Gym. Okay, <laughs> well that <laughs> seems to. Be. I love Sorry, that. That just came out of like that was my. Wow, that was you don't my you don't even hate. want to talk about. Disney's acquisition, what that means for the MCU? No, you don't want to. You don't even. Not want really. To, you don't want to <laughs> so this is basically how it goes: the end of Endgame. And sorry if I'm right. 
I, I can tell you that in the end game right now. We don't. I don't want to. <laughs> I can tell you that in the end game right now. <laughs> so the end of end game goes like this. So Thanos is like, "You should have aimed for the head." I and saw then, that video. <laughs> <laughs> and then he actually aimed for the head, right? And then and then Tony Stark picks up the Infinity Gauntlet and then he's like, "Snap!" And then he kills everybody. And then there's like this like really weird like explosion. And then everybody gets mutant powers. Let me tell you. The real ending for Endgame. No, I'm good, thanks. So, all right, this is the end of the podcast. See you later, guys. If you ever want to see New Mutants, it's never going to come out, so thanks. Disney, yeah. Disney <laughs> Plus. They're, they're debating whether or not New Mutants comes out in theaters. Disney, Disney Plus. Plus. Disney I'll Plus. be generally happy if it goes on Disney Plus. Thanos' ass and then growing big. Yeah, it was like... What was it? It was like the two options, like uh, two ways this ends. He goes up, he goes up Ant Man's ass and becomes huge. Or Ant Man's ass. I mean, yeah. Thanos' ass. It's a meme. It's a butt plug shaped like Captain America's shield, and it's like Thanos preparing to stop Ant Man. It's 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 one of the greatest things of our time. I can't see that. Is this? A <laughs> this says, Thanos' ass. Ant Man, let me in. <laughs> let me in. I saw but one too that was like uh, when he tries to go up his ass, he has a butt plug in, and it's General Grievous saying, uh, "Did you think I'd leave the reactor core <laughs> unshielded?" But yeah, so <laughs> back to Supernatural. I don't know how we got to Thanos' ass. Fifteen seasons. I'm genuinely sad. Um, I, I know many people who will be sad too. I'm sad. So that is all the time we have for the Minus Four podcast today. That went by fast. Thank you, gentlemen, for being on the show. Oh, thank you for having us. First, you actually, and this is uh, something new for the podcast, you guys are the first in-person guests. You guys were there for episode 10, now you're here for episode 34. Oh, wow. Dang. First in-person, first That's incredible. in-person guest, episode 34, on our way to 50. That's great. Wow. Right. Maybe we'll have you guys back for 50. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. All gold? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm down. It's 50. Mm-hmm. I'm down. Talking gold rings, gold plates, gold dogs, gold hair, gold skin. Gold we're gonna we're gonna look gold like those people from Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the Mindless Horror Podcast. Thank I am your host, Anthony. Uh, I'm not a host, but I'm George. Wait, he's George, and he was I'm back. I'm a guest now. This is the league. The, not the league. They're TLV Media. Yeah, that's right. Formerly TLV. TLV. They're TLV. Always gonna be. Look at this beautiful merch that I rocked. I didn't mention that once in the podcast. I am now. Limited edition. It is limited edition. We are never. Gonna so do like this in ever ten again. years, when this shirt is like gonna mean something. By the way, again in the series. Check out TLV Media's page, YouTube channel, Twitter, Instagram, because I'm pretty sure my subscribers already subscribed to them. But if you're not, I don't know why you're not. Uh, they post up weekly videos, right? Weekly? Try to be weekly. Try to be weekly. Try to be weekly. Most of those, it's been, they've been pretty on par with it. They do uh, construction updates, uh, media events, movie reviews. and anything, everything in between. Mm, that's a good That's a good way of saying it. Um, Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.